On August 5th, I had a deadline, a big one. I had to launch my first ever online course before heading to Connecticut for a vacation with my family. I was DIYing everything and essentially had no idea what I was doing. I also had a huge load of client work to handle. So I decided to document the process and let you guys know how it went. I've also included a ton of productivity tips throughout the video so that you can get a sense of some of the ways I just manage my workload and get things done. I hope you enjoy. If you find the tips or the video useful, just give me a like, a comment, and subscribe. We are currently in the week from hell, which is what I've dubbed it. I have about a week to complete an astronomical amount of projects, including client work and launching my course. And then we leave for our family vacation on the 6th. It's hard for me to adequately express how much buildup is behind this course launch because I've been literally working on this thing for years and there have been many times where I couldn't even see it on the horizon or couldn't even imagine actually launching it and now the time has come. That's why this whole thing is so intense. There's no words really to describe how much resistance I'm feeling towards it all because, I mean, if you've ever done any kind of big project where you've gotten your hopes up, you know. It's so hard to follow through and your brain finds all kinds of ways to trick you. The other part is I've been basically fire-hosed with client work lately and it's my fault for taking too much on. What I really need to do is just like get those deliverables organized so that I can tackle them one by one and then finish up the course stuff. So I'm going to finish a project right now that is due today and then I think from there just like provide some kind of update along the way about how it goes. <laughs> my hot coffee and my cold coffee. Tonight's first project is finally done. Product descriptions for a jewelry brand. One of three jewelry brands I'm working with right now. Now we're gonna organize all this work in Trello to make sense of like exactly what happens next. So Trello is a free project management tool that you can use to keep track of each step of a project or different projects you have throughout the week. When I have a lot of deliverables to turn in for clients, I like to have a visual representation of what I'm doing. I create columns for different phases of my writing work, so it's usually a column called clients, which houses my workload, in progress, and complete. Each column gets cards, which represent the different projects. I use images that represent each client as the cover photo for each card, which just gives the system a little more context when I glance at it. As you'll see, some cards or projects are for the same client, so you might see the same image pop up more than once in a column, which means I have more than one thing to do for that client. Cards can have descriptions of the project, links to documents and other embedded items, a due date, and more. Trello will actually notify you when you have a due date coming up if you add it to the project. When I'm working on something, I pull it into the progress column. When I'm done, I pull it into the complete column, which is a very satisfying feeling. If I'm midway through something and I have to switch over, I'll just move that card back to the client's column until I'm ready to work on it again. This just makes it easier for me to visually track where I am in my workload and what still needs to be done. It also makes it really easy to focus because I know the only thing I should be focused on is what is in the in progress column. So that's how I use Trello. The second part of this equation is the 5k freelance writing course for Freelance Writing Cafe. So this is the Trello board where I'll be organizing all of that.
you can prepare for everything to have the perfect morning and things like this can still happen. It's about 6.45 and I'm going to just tether to my phone. My strategy this morning is to tackle just one client project after the next. So I finished part one of the morning, which is great. So that's two things complete. Now I have to switch over to a different client who I need to use like a separate computer for. The favorite part of the day is when you get to move something from in progress to complete. It's 10.39, so I'm about 40 minutes behind schedule. I'm hoping to be completely done with today's client work by like, I wanna say one o'clock. laptop here and I'm going to be diving right into this project so it's now 11 o'clock I'm going to try like I said to be done completely with this part of the project at 1 o'clock and a quick tip that I'm finding helpful is closing all of my inboxes during this time obviously all social media is closed I don't put my phone on airplane mode or anything like that but just having that inbox out of my face is a really helpful way for me to focus on the work The groceries arrived and I had a long luxurious lunch break so now it is 1 24 and though my original plan was to have this next project done by 2 I'm gonna push that out to 4 because I've realized it's a little more in depth than I planned and then I think I'm gonna push right through till about 8 p.m. to try to get as much of the rest done as I can and that's my Friday <laughs> It's almost 5.30 and I'm still at it. I can't believe how long this is taking, honestly. I feel like this is an important moment to document because it's officially 5.30 and I'm behind on schedule and just realized that I have even more to do today than I thought I did. I have completed a lot so far. It's just that there's still a lot to do and there are days like that. Stick a cracker in there. Mmm. Had my little break. Now I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, change of plans. I made an executive decision to take the rest of the day off because it's Friday evening and I've been working for 12 hours straight. Hey, you got a permit for those guns? I get a right here.
Jay's strategy is just to not get distracted by anything. Turns out going to bed last night was the right decision. I woke up this morning feeling much better and I finished the project that I'd spent all evening yesterday toiling over um, before 10 a.m. I'm gonna update the Trello board to reorganize and recalibrate and figure out where I'm at. And I have two more major projects to complete today before I can switch over to the freelance writing cafe stuff. So I cleaned my desk, I'm about to make some smoothies, and I even treated myself to some eyeliner. I think one of the easiest and most obvious ways to boost your productivity is just cleaning your desk. If you have a bunch of things all over your desk, you are definitely going to be distracted. Wipe down your desk with like a sponge or a Clorox wipe, clean up any random stuff you have there, like pick up your teacups and coffee cups, and yeah, you'll be in a much better mental place to get things done. now 11.30, I'm full of smoothie, and I'm ready to get to work. Let's dive back into Trello and see where we left off. Finding a nice background track is essential for me for getting work done, and I love this channel, BGMC. They just do like um, coffee shop jazz and things that one might actually play in a coffee shop, but for me, creating that coffee shop atmosphere is the best way to set myself up for a productive day. So I found out that this deadline is actually on the 4th, which is great. This project is done, except I'm waiting for the client to send me something, though I actually should make something called like on hold so that I can put things that are on hold in here which should go before complete. Um, lingerie is done, thank goodness. And right now I'm gonna finish quickly sending this client what she needs. Okay, that was fast. So now this is officially complete. Next, I'm going to finish sending the active product client their copy. Here's another quick tip while you're working. You can use this tomatotimer.com Pomodoro timer. Basically, it's 25 minutes of work and then five minutes of break and then um, a 10 minute break. And it really helps you kind of speed through the day. And this one ahead of schedule is complete. So I think next I'm just gonna jump back into my inbox to get rid of two pages of emails, answer anything I need to answer and do some housekeeping. Um, I'm sure there are little hidden to-dos in here and I just wanna make sure I'm accounting for everything. Right now I'm in really good shape to the point where it makes me nervous that I'm forgetting something, so time to go back and just make sure. So anyway, I think we're gonna go up to the roof because it's super nice out. I just went out to get the mail and realized it's hard to tell when you're in this apartment because it's pretty closed off, but time to get some vitamin D. Before that, I have to go back to the old apartment because I just found out an order I placed went there instead of here. Somebody's feeding the cats.
I definitely got more sun than I bargained for. Now it's movie time and then I'll continue with the projects. I think I've earned it because I did work very hard this morning. Okay, my brain is done working today, so I'm um, gonna follow the direction that my brain cells are going in and just edit some video or do something creative and then pick up on client work tomorrow. My parents are on their way to pick up some tubs that they lent us for moving. Of course, today is another work day, punctuated by other things. We're going to a show, the first in like five months, so that'll be interesting. Eduardo's playing in the show actually, so I'm excited to see him play after so long. But this morning I thought um, I might go ahead and edit the video that I started yesterday so that I finished something this morning and then after my parents leave, I'll just jump right back into client work. Okay, mom and dad have come and gone. Successful visit. It was so nice to see them. I think we hugged for the first time since March, and now we're going to get ready. Meanwhile, I will try to enjoy this Sunday and try to enjoy our first musical outing in a long time. So I'm all ready to go see Eduardo's show. I'm gonna try wearing my hair down, but it's so hot out that I think I'll probably put it up within five seconds of leaving the house. I got my dress on, I got my fake ear piercing thingies. I'm already starting to sweat. Ugh. nice to see some friends and the boys did amazing. Now I'm going to kind of make my battle plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because Thursday it's off to Connecticut. Monday morning. I'm just gonna review my list of things that need to be done before Thursday and passing off a bunch of work to my VAs today, three VAs that I hired, so hopefully that will go well. While I'm at the beach, they can be sorting out all those things that I don't wanna think about. Today's productivity tip is coffee. update this 
client. Finally, I finished their project, so they are complete. Now I'm still working on this one, which is coming along. I'm gonna try to finish this within the next two hours, and then I have this one. I need to go to sleep, but first, I'm very proud of myself. I get to drag this one into complete. That means all of these are complete, which is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And now, tomorrow will be this guy, and hopefully this one, and definitely this one. So yeah, three more to go. Alright friends, it is Tuesday. It's the last day for me to get my client work done and then open the cart on my course. So it is absolutely crunch time. I probably won't be vlogging much. I'm just gonna jump in and get this stuff done. editing video for my virtual assistants. They really need this information so they can start working. I hired them last week and still haven't been able to send them anything, so I finally just um, recorded my screen doing all those tasks and recorded audio instructions so that anytime they have questions, they can just click on the video and find out exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Hopefully this will make it easier for me to be hands-off. <laughs> Alright friends, this is the home stretch in every sense of the word. It is the day before launch. I have my list of the final things that need to get done by tomorrow morning. I got a lot done today already, my brain is a little fried, but I think the adrenaline of being so close to deadline is gonna keep me going. If I could throw one tip in here, I think it would be to parse things out and don't try to do everything at once and don't schedule 10 client projects in the same two weeks that you have a course launch. It's just not a good idea. My course launch is beta and very informal, but it's still a pretty heavy mental lift for me because it's my first one. And I don't recommend doing a ton of work for other people on the same week that you have to do this huge thing for yourself that will hopefully turn into your future. But you learn by doing this stuff and I wouldn't have known if I hadn't done it, so that's fine. Um, I'm excited, I'm optimistic, and I'm stressed, but I think that's a good combination. And it'll all pay off because in a couple days we'll be on vacation at the beach socially distanced vacation and it's gonna be great. It is the morning of launch and I still have a lot to do. Didn't want to be in this position but last night around midnight I decided to stop working and go to bed because I knew if I continued today would be a bust. So I woke up at 6 o'clock and I'm back at it and I'm gonna try to launch this mother... <laughs> launch this course by lunchtime. Also hair went up because it is too damn hot. I'm good. So I actually genuinely don't know how it happened, but somewhere in the process of writing and refreshing and previewing, I reverted back to a two hours old version of the sales page I've been writing since, you know, seven in the morning. 
Now that I'm rewriting the copy because I've accepted it, like there's nothing I can do. I tried to find it. I tried to hit back and control Z and all the things. Now that I'm rewriting it, I'm starting to realize, I'm starting to remember exactly how much was erased. So it's just very frustrating. It's hard to write an inspiring sales page with that in the back of my mind. Um, knowing that I just spent hours finding the right words and now they're gone. I mean, they're still in here somewhere, but now, you know, I've just it's just a huge setback, so. But not something that is gonna, you know, stop me in my tracks. Moral of the story and a great tip for you here is write copy in a separate document, never in a third-party website text editor, because you have no control over if they preserve versions of the copy or anything like that. So yeah, lesson learned. I'm finally about to launch this course. <laughs> I've been trying to do this for years, and just by clicking a button, it's going to be done. I can't even wrap my head around it, but here goes nothing. I'm gonna film the moment that I send out the email inviting everyone to join. Just chatting with Crystal. <laughs> is gonna be my first customer. All right, I'm officially going to send out this email. My beta test group. These people have been waiting to hear about the course, or 54 of them. So if I actually fill the course from this list, that would be a psychotic conversion rate, and I don't think that'll happen. But let's do it. I send myself a test email first. Okay, all right, let's do this. Who knows if it's correct? Who knows if it's gonna work? It's my first rodeo, so... I'll be celebrating this achievement with avocado and cacao pudding with banana, which I have made slightly less healthy with whipped cream and chocolate chips. I think I deserve it. I'm feeling a lot of things right now. I know I still have so much to do, like making content for this course, call sessions and PDF checklists and things like that, like bonus content, but there's still a lot to do. So I don't feel like it's a complete victory yet where I can just sit back and it's a product that will sell itself. This is actually a very interactive sort of coaching experience where I guide them through the course material and then we have live Q&As and I and also create additional content based on like their feedback in real time. I just made my first sale. I mean, Crystal was the first official sale, but I just made, I just made my first real sale that wasn't a discounted friend buying something. It's my first founding member of 5K Freelance Writing. I'm so excited. I'm celebrating my first sale with this giant vat of chai that I made yesterday. And I'm gonna now call and tell everyone about this because my mind is blown. What a crazy day! And look how much I'm sweating because I've been pacing around the kitchen table non-stop telling my mother about everything and I don't even know where my head's at. What a damn day. And I want you guys to know, I made a post in my little diary this week declaring to the universe that I was ready to level up or just like change lanes in some way. Like open to new things, open to going further than I have in the past open to like that next level my personal evolution whatever that is and holy shit the universe delivered i think my brain is ready to sit down and make a big ass list of everything else that needs to be done but i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because it feels like a very high note to end it on I'm proud of myself i'm proud of myself for sticking to the launch date i can't believe i got my first sale today it's so exciting i can't like play it cool this stuff is so exciting to me. I'm totally new at online sales. 
or online course sales and creating an online course and teaching people is new to me and this whole journey is just bananas so I hope I can look back on this moment and know that it was the beginning of something real and something huge but yeah that's it for this vlog I think I said enough and showed you guys enough I hope some of it was useful if not entertaining I'm pretty sure there's footage of me crying in here somewhere let's pretend like I don't know that I am going to add that moment Share your productivity tips in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I would love to have you.